Hello, hello lovely students. Welcome back to another exciting literature class. Today's class, we're going to be looking at a very interesting poem titled A Government Driver on His Retirement by Ono GBK. A Government Driver on His Retirement. Now, during the course of this lesson, we're going to be looking at the background of the poet and the background of the poem. We're going to be looking at the summary slash subject matter of the poem. We'll be also analyzing the poetic devices employed in the poem, as well as GPK's use of imagery and symbolism in the poem. Now, we'll be doing a brief background of the poet, Arnold GPK. Arnold GPK was born into the family of Mr. and Mrs. Albert Rush in the Ndwanusi Ono. Ono Chibike Igwa to Kingsley hails from Umumi Uzawa, now is in Nomi in Ikedu, the local government area of Imo State. He schooled at the University of Nigeria in Suka, where he obtained his degree in Bachelor's of Arts, Education, English. He is a rising Nigerian writer and a teacher. He teaches English language and literature in one of the secondary schools in Anambra State, Nigeria. Good Night Africa is his first celebrated anthology. So this is the brief background of the poet Onu Chibike. Yes, so now we're going to be looking at the background of the poem. It is a common practice in Nigeria and the rest of Africa for the government, which is the single most important employer, to send retirees home with gifts. So when a government worker spends at least 35 years working with the government, when he's retiring, the government always sends them off with a gift. These rewards are in appreciation of the public servant's long unblemished service to his country. Here, we understand that giving these gifts are a form of appreciation for their job well done. It is striking that in the case of this government driver, he is going home with a gift card because the usual practice at that period within which the poet's narrative is set, government workers hardly go on a pension with such expensive gifts. But in the case of this particular driver, in the case of this particular driver, he was gifted a car. Usually it is either a very large wall clock, a loud wooden transit or radio. Again, most such retirees are known to be sent home very quietly to die quickly in misery. So it is very new to the poet that this particular government worker was gifted a car for his 35 years of service to the government. So now we will be looking at the setting of the poem. The setting of the poem. The setting of the poem is said to be Nigeria because firstly, it is where the poet comes from and secondly it is a country in which the government occurred to be the major provider of employment for its citizens so in nigeria we are made aware of the fact that government workers are more than private workers in nigeria the time setting is the post-colonial period the period after attainment of independence the reason for this is that this era is marked by importation and the use of many cars and alcohol which cannot be found in the colonial era or even the pre-colonial era even the poet is of this new generation now we are going to be reading the poem a government driver on his retirement so i'll be reading stanza one and stanza two many years on wheels in faithful service to his fatherland today retires he home and the celebration he holds many years has he pummeled his boozy throat in obedience to duty rules and regulations today he'll go home a free man eligible for his country's services now we're going to be analyzing this stanza one and stanza two. The analysis, a government driver has successfully come home after the end of his working days. He has just retired from a long service to his country, usually 35 years. So now we are seeing a government driver, obviously he has been driving for some government workers and now he has retired. 
due to old age and retirement age. So he has retired after working for the government. And his reward was a brand new car. His reward was a brand new car. Retirement is significant to the government driver because it also marks the beginning of his freedom. He can now do whatever it is he wants, however he likes it. As a driver, you can't drink. You have limits. But now that he has retired, he is free to do anything he wants, live the kind of life he wants to live. We can see many years on wheels. He has spent many years on wheels, faithfully serving his fatherland, which means he has been a very good driver. Nobody has had accidents, nothing. And he retires home with celebration because he has been given a gift. Many years has he pummeled his boozy truth in obedience to duty rules and regulations. So he has refused to drink because he is a driver and he has to be sober before he drives government workers so now he is a free man he can do whatever it is he wants because he's eligible for his country's services so let's see the part two of this lovely poem stanza three four five and six come friends rejoice with me i shall booze and zoom myself home away from duty rolls come celebrate my freedom early to duty tomorrow holds not 35 years of faithful services. I'll boost to sleep away my suffering. Today I've long waited for more joy to send him home, a brand new car in his name, an appreciative symbol for undented 30 years of service to fatherland. Come friends and rejoice more. Joy to no more joy to joy. Today frees and makes me a king my patience rewarded we're going to be analyzing this lovely stanza now we can see that from this stanza the retired government driver decides to celebrate his freedom he is now free so he wants to celebrate he is calling his friends to join him he wants his friends his family everybody to come and celebrate his freedom with him because he cannot be waking up early again for work Early to duty tomorrow holds not. He will no longer be waking up early to go to work. 35 years of faithful service, he would drink to sleep away his sufferings. He has suffered enough and he feels he has earned it. So it's more joy to send him home. They gave him a good car. He wants his friends to come and celebrate the gifts he has been given. To drive in the new car and let him drink and drink away to oblivion. He is happy that his patience has been rewarded, so he organizes a big send of party for himself. He invites his friends and loved ones to come and share in his joy. And true to his intentions, the government driver drinks heavily at the party, throwing caution to the wind. So like I said earlier, he drinks to stupor, drinking to oblivion because he believes he, has des he deserves the retirement. He deserves the gift. He deserves the appreciation for his job well done throwing caution to the wind and forgetting that he is a driver he drinks anyhow he drinks and gets drunk now let us see the part three of this lovely poem stanza six and so he boozed and boozed celebrating the celebration of his retirement from faithful service to fatherland he battled with his bottle booze on his way home on wheels, booze boosted his vision and clear judgment. He boomed his brand new car and it sent him home. Home to rest in peace. Anal analysis. At the end of the party, he gets into his brand new car and drives recklessly towards home. He is drunk. Remember in part two, we notice that he drinks to oblivion. He is drunk and he decides to enter his car to drive. Forgetting that he is a driver and he knows that the rules and regulations of drivers is that you do not drink and drive. You shouldn't be doing drunk driving. And he still entered his brand new car while drunk and was driving recklessly home. Unfortunately, he never gets home alive. Because he is stupidly drunk, he easily loses control of the vehicle. On his way home on wheels, 
boost boost his vision and clear judgment so you can see that he couldn't even see where he was going to he couldn't see where he was driving and he boomed his brand new car the obvious result was the fatal car crash and he sent him to his grave a needless premature death home to rest in peace because he drank and instead of him to celebrate the right way he was careless and carefree he did not care about anything anymore and he just wanted to drink to enjoy that that beer he could not take while he was a government worker while he was a government driver he wants to take everything all at once and he did not care and in the end he died a fatal car crash something he never had in his 35 years of working as a government driver he had it while having his one day of freedom so that's the poem a government driver on his retirement a government driver who was gifted a car in appreciation for his 35 years of service to the government and decides to drink away his um his enjoyment into oblivion and recklessly entered his car to drive back home but died in a fatal car crash now let us look at the poetic devices in this lovely poem a government driver on his retirement our first poetic device will be the language in the poem the use of words is carefully selected to depict the predictable death of the driver words like booze represents to drink in excess celebration means enjoyment and boom expresses loud sound so that's another poetic device we're going to be looking at in this lovely poem is foreshadowing the poet uses these words to predict the death of the driver remember foreshadowing means giving us hints of what will happen in the future home to rest in peace i'll booze to sleep away my sufferings joy to no more joy to joy there was a prediction of the driver's death in the poem and then we're going to be looking at another poetic device which is the tone of the poet the tone of the poet the poet started with humorous tone at the beginning of the poem trying to make us laugh about how the driver was so happy about getting his retirement and being appreciated with a brand new car and then he concluded by using surprise words to shock the readers through the sudden and premature death of the retired government driver i'm sure we were not expecting the death of the driver we were expecting him to enjoy and then getting drunk and waiting to be sober before he drives but no it took a whole new plot twist where we're seeing a, a driver that's been careful for 35 years entering into his car stupidly drunk and ending up having an accident and dying on the spot yes so now we're going to be looking at the figures of speech in the government driver on his retirement by onu chibike the first figure of speech we're going to be looking at is Sinekbiki. Sinekbiki. this is deployed in lines 1 5 and 29 where steering wheels are used to represent vehicles the driver had driven and boozy troth used to represent the government driver and the implied suppression of his love for alcohol or his fights to maintain focus while drunk on duty so you can see that he was a very respectful driver always following the rules and regulations of driving but you can see that he deviated from that rules and regulation Another figure of speech we're going to be looking at in this lovely poem is the use of alliteration. Lines 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 13, 15, 17, 18, 22, 23, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, and 32 all show us instances of alliteration, repetition of consonant sounds at the beginning or even the middle of words in the same sentences so we can see examples of the words we're seeing he home rules and regulations to duty tomorrow sleep sufferings booze booze those are examples of alliteration in the poem we'll look at another figure of speech in this lovely poem another figure of speech in this lovely poem 
is the use of euphemism euphemism and it sent him home euphemism means making mild comments using mild words to rep to replace harsh reality using mild words to replace harsh reality and it sent him home home to rest in peace lines 31 and 32 i'll boost to sleep away my suffering in line 15 means to die to sleep away to die so you can see that the poet used mild words to rep to replace the harsh reality of death in line 22 we see joy till no more joy to joy also means sorrow that ends the drinking scene evaluation comment on the poet's use of repetition and personification in the poem comment on the poet's use of repetition and personification in the poem so lovely students we've come to the end of our lovely class on the poem a government driver on his retirement by Onu Chibike. In our next class, we're going to be looking at the themes in this lovely poem. So until then, it is me saying bye for now.